Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, right, thanks for joining us on today's video. 63 Impala SS409. In the top 10 cars in the world, you gotta say an Impala Super Sport ranks up in there. Throw in the 409 with a four speed, definitely in there. This car in particular needs to be in your top one or two in the world, if not in your own garage or driveway. When we walk around this car, this is exactly how you would have built it. This thing is fast, it is loud, it has a killer suspension, killer wheels and tires, giant brakes, and it is so cool. And the one thing about this is when we start this car up, you'll hear the difference between a 409 and say a 396 or 454. Those Mark IV engines there sound nothing like a 409, and that's why these things were legendary. So let's take a few minutes, walk around this thing. It's full of restoration, comes with tons of receipts, an enormous amount of work was put into this car. You could not duplicate it for anywhere near uh, what it's being sold to you for today. So come on up here, let's take a peek at the paint that's first. Got a little dust on there, okay? Check this out. This is Palomar Red. Look how clear everything is. Look at the time. You can see everything. That's what you should be looking for when you're looking for cars. The pictures tell a lie. They don't tell you the whole story. The video shows you everything. This is in HD, okay? So that's why I'm not as handsome as I normally am in regular definition TV. All right, just kidding. Anyway, so come on, let's keep walking around. So we got all new chrome, stainless. The bumpers alone on the car, okay? $1,500 to $2,500, depending on the year of the Impala, how much you do and things like that. These are all brand new front and back. All the stainless trim is new. The right screws are on here, okay? The right emblems, the inserts in here, little touches like this right here where you have the machine turned finish inside the moldings. The call outs here on the fender, the 409 with the cross flag. The 409 is legendary, man. All right, check out this wheel and tire combination here. Look at these giant bare brakes. They're cross drilled, they're slotted, and they're ventilated. This thing was meant to stop as well as, first off, it makes an enormous amount of power. It comes with a dyno sheet. The motor is professionally built by a 409 expert. This is no 409, 2, 3, 350, 400 horsepower car. This thing is built to go, and it needs to be able to stop, and it does that. But you throw in this updated suspension on it, right, with the bigger wheels and tires and the brakes, so you get that old school look, but you don't get that old school drive runs so fast down the road, but stops so well. It's really nice. All right, I want to talk a little more about the styling of this car, because this is a great body style. The exhaust exits out here, throw in an extra set of those big giant brakes in the rear, so you might as well stop the whole car. So come on down. Look how nice and straight these quarter panels are. They're not all wavy. The amount of effort that goes into getting this done like this is enormous. You get the G-Force TAs, the BF Goodrich, just really gorgeous. All right, keep walking with me. Check out all the detail here. New bumpers, taillight bezels, trim. The antenna just looks so good. And I love this piece right here. It's one of my favorite pieces on any car ever is the Impala with the SS right around it. Without that emblem there, just a regular car. Just a regular car. All right, let's take a peek uh, under the hood for a second. All right, this is beautifully detailed. Come on up here for a second. It's got the right 409 in it. It's got the codes here. It's the matching numbers 409 on top of it. QG coded car. But this one here has been taken to a whole nother level. Built and detailed. The only thing you might want to do to it, and we could do that here if you wanted, is put in the dual quad option. And the dual quad option would be really cool. I have the air cleaner in stock. And it's not a whole lot now to add the dual quads and the intake. So you might want to think about that as a small upgrade to this car, okay? Um, everything else detailed, the big brakes we talked about. This is all painted nicely and detailed in here. Giant aluminum radiator, it's been painted black to kind of look stock. Got the OptiClean uh, extra bottle right here. Power steering, which we didn't ask about. Power steering is a big deal in a big car like this. Nice to have. The power disc brakes, we already looked at those and uh, some of the other accoutrements. So when you're talking about horsepower and whatever, this is the way you want to get it done. More importantly, when you open the hood, you want it to look like this. You want it to be proud of it. You want to say, wow, that is really nice looking. Hmm? And that you can say is really nice looking. All right, let's take a peek in the trunk. All right, so this is the part of the rest of the detail you need to be looking for. Splatter painted correctly, new trunk pan put in, spare tire and jack. You say, well, what's the big deal about a spare tire and jack? 99% of the cars do not come with a spare tire and jack. And I'm telling you, by the time you buy a wheel, a tire, a jack, a handle, uh, the base plate, 
paint it, detail it, put it all together, you'll be six or seven hundred dollars just for a jack. That's why when you look at these cars and you spend a couple thousand on bumpers, you spend uh, $500 or $300, $400 on a weather stripping kit, but it costs you uh, 600 more to put it in. So that's a thousand. It just adds up so fast, man. I'm telling you, if you like this car and you could afford it, this car is done, done, done. You gotta find a way to get it into your life and you gotta get it quickly. But look at this, beautifully done. You go to a car show, uh, it's just look, even the trunk light works. Look at that, little stuff like that. Well, what's the big deal about that? Well, the big deal about that is that's, you know, another two or three hours of labor to wire that all up and make sure that it works properly. All right, let's check out the inside here because this is really uh, where you're gonna spend some time. But I wanna show you a couple of things that uh, to you may not seem like a big deal, but they're what makes a car really, really nice looking. And I don't know, just made so much nicer to get in and go for a drive. Silly stuff like the footwell lighting here. The fact that it comes on when you, when you open the door. The fact that we have the correct tachometer for a 300 horsepower plus uh, four-speed Impala. A lot of people didn't know that if you had, regardless of the engine, if it had 300 horsepower or more, um, it got uh, a tachometer here on the dash with a four-speed, okay? This has a little bit of an upgraded sound system. What I recommend you do is probably just put in AM, FM, CD satellite sound system right here in the glove box. And then uh, you have the iPod and all that good stuff. But all the dash has been redone. The carpets are new. The console is new. The seat belts, the seats themselves. Look how beautiful the headliner is here. The rear is all done. The package shelf. We have so many dollars in receipts on this car. It's just ridiculous. So uh, more importantly, we talked a little bit about what a 409 might sound like. I'd like to go ahead and start it for you so you can hear uh, what it does sound like. That does not sound like any stock 409 you have ever heard. Take a peek at the underneath, all new stuff in here, but then re-undercoated correctly like it was at the factory. Exhaust is all nice and new. Rear end's all detailed. Suspension's new and detailed. Part of what makes this car so great is some of the handling things too. Come take a peek here, I want you to see. Big Hotchkiss front and rear sway bar. I was gonna take the decal off, but I wanted you to see it first so it looked nice and stock. See the red polyurethane bushings instead of the old rubber style? That's why it has the quick ratio power steering, okay? Instead of that floaty car ride, it not only does it ride well still, but it actually handles a little bit too, and you get those big wheels and tires in there. It's really a whole different animal. You know, in closing the video on this, I don't want to call it an animal, but this beast, you know, anytime you get a song sung about you and the Beach Boys sung about uh, the 409, She's Real Fine, My 409, you knew that was a great car. This one on here takes that great car to level 10. It is just an awesome, awesome piece. It's a great driving car and it's beautifully restored. You would have so much fun in this car. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get it in your garage.